What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here, back with another review. Today we're going to be talking about tripods, specifically the Binro Adventure Series 2. This one has flip locks, it's the aluminum edition, and I really think it's an amazing tripod. Now tripods aren't always the most exciting, flashy part of your gear kit, but since it's wide utility and you're gonna be using it on so many different shots, that's why it's important to get a good one. But you don't really have to start out on such a good tripod. You can start out on something basic. I started out on a $20 tripod that I'm currently had to pull back out and I'm using to film this one since I wanted to hold this, I needed to film on my old one. And it was about 20, 30 bucks. I'll link it down below. And I really enjoyed it as a starting tripod. It was something to get me going to see if I would really enjoy photography, videography. Then after I realized I enjoyed it so much, it was necessary to upgrade because a $20, $30 tripod isn't very stable. It's mostly built out of cheap plastic and flimsy aluminum. It's very unsteady. It works indoors and even some indoor settings. If you bump it slightly, it wobbles a bunch. That was a slight bump. I barely tapped it. This other one, you tap it really hard in gusts of wind. Someone else bumps it accidentally. and It's not going to fall over. Now, I do want to say this isn't a sponsored video. Benro did not send me this. They didn't pay me at all for this review. I just really looked at it. And this was the one who had the specs that fit me specifically. So I bought it. I really enjoyed using it. So I want to do a review on it because there weren't that many reviews on the Adventure 2 series tripod from Benro. So, this is that review. And if you like this review, make sure to like and subscribe down below. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments what I need to do differently. Any questions I didn't answer about the tripod, but let's get into it. I think when you're looking for a new tripod, there's four main specs that are the big overarching things that define whether it's a good tripod for your use case. And a lot of these are use case specific. But first we have the load capacity. This is how much weight you can mount on top. Typically you'll buy a set of legs and the tripod head will count in that weight. You don't want to undershoot on this. You want to make sure it's well over any lenses plus cameras, plus maybe a microphone, maybe a light, maybe a strap, whatever you're going to be mounting onto the tripod. This is also sort of a rating of how sturdy it will be. If it's rated at 40 pounds or something ridiculous, it's going to be a rock solid, very steady tripod. Next you have your maximum height. This is rated as with the middle column extended and with the middle column not extended. When you extend the middle column, it's going to be slightly less steady than with it without it extended, but it will still be fairly steady as a tripod. The folded length is more for traveling of how small and compact you can get the tripod for strapping it on a backpack, throwing it in some luggage for traveling. How much this spec means to you is dependent on how much traveling you're going to be using it. If you're only going to be using it indoor or in a studio setting, it's never going to be folded up and traveling, then it doesn't really matter for you. The next one is weight. This one kind of goes with your travel with traveling and folded length. You don't want to carry around a super heavy tripod. You'll be more likely to leave it behind when you go on a hike, when you go trekking, when you go backpacking or traveling, whatever you're doing, you don't want to carry a heavy tripod and you don't want that tripod to be the thing you leave behind when you walk out the door. You want it to be a tripod you really enjoy using and you really want to grab every time you leave the door. And I think this tripod fits somewhere in the middle of all of the categories. It can hold up to 26.5 pounds with a max height of 61.4 inches. That's with the center column extended without the head. So if you put a head on here, plus your camera, your eye, your, your viewfinder is going to be well above 61.4 inches. It's folded length is only 20.7 inches. That's not super small for some travel tripods, but it's somewhere in the middle. It's decently small. It can fit inside of airport carry on. So that was a good, good enough for me. And with weight, it weighs in right around four pounds with the carbon fiber version being only three pounds. So you'll save an extra pound of weight, but it will cost you a little bit more. This tripod I see as an all around tripod, a generalist tripod. It can do everything pretty well without being the best at anything. It can't hold a full cinema rig on there. It's gonna be a little bit too heavy for it. It's not the smallest you can pack down, but usually the travel trekking tripods aren't gonna be able to carry as much weight. They're not gonna be as stable. And also some lighter weight tripods can't extend as high. And me being tall, I'm six foot two, plus you add some shoes and you maybe an uneven surface and I'm gonna need it to be a fairly tall tripod. So this one extending up to six two, plus a tripod head, plus the camera, that fits for most situations for me. So I really like that. Another big feature I really enjoyed about this tripod is that it's flip lock legs on here. I really enjoy these over the rotating twist lock legs. This one, you can look at it and you see that it's securely locked in. 
It's gonna be stable. It holds it always. And this seems to be just a matter of opinion. Some people really like this one. Some people really like the twist lock legs. And so it's all about which one you like. Binro has a similar model with the Mach 3. It's pretty much the same specs, except it does have the twist lock legs on there. So if you like the twist lock legs, I think this is a very similar tripod to the Mach 3. So you can check that one out. I think a generalist tripod like this is great for a shooter that isn't locked in. Maybe a hobbyist, an amateur, someone like me, where I shoot a bunch of different things. Sometimes I'm indoors shooting, so it's very stable. It's on known ground. I know it's carpet. It's very soft, very organized. It's not going to be windy in here. It's not going to get bumped by anything. I keep the cat out when I'm filming, so it's not going to knock it over. Sometimes I'm outdoors, though. Sometimes I do need to travel with it. Last weekend, I traveled with this, and I was able to strap it onto my carry-on backpack, and it went right through security. They didn't even question it with how tall it was. It actually had this head on there. I thought I'd have to, like, take it off and try to carry it, make it discreet or something, but no, they didn't even mind. Just strapped right on the side. It fit in my carry-on, so... That's another great feature to have. If you do travel and you wanna take your photography with you, a great feature to have is that these rubber feet can unscrew and you can screw in metal spike feet. Those are great for turf or grass, mud, whatever situation you're in that you wanna stick it into the ground, gives some added stability and uneven surfaces. I really love how stable the tripod is as a whole. These joints that on cheaper tripods will be made of plastic. This one is made of magnesium. Magnesium housing up here with aluminum sections here. There's a little bit of plastic around, like the leg locks are plastic, but they're very good, sturdy plastic. There's a little bit of plastic around here that holds the bag hook, which you can use to stabilize. You hook your bag onto here, and that'll add extra weight to your tripod to hold it stable. You can attach a shoulder strap between this point and down here, strap hanging around your shoulder, a little bit more mobility you have with that. It also comes with a great little Benro branded, it's a padded bag. It's decently well padded for traveling or any situations you wanna throw this on your shoulder, carry it around. It's just a nice little feature that they throw in with the bag. It wasn't extra to get a bundled padded bag with it. And I like that they included them together, just selling you both in the same package. One feature that's really nice but is Something I wasn't expecting seeing just pictures online is that these level angles, you pop it out and then you pull to whatever angle you want, lock it in place, and then it's sturdy. Then you have to pull it, lock it in. It has three different angles of inclination that you can set each leg at, which is super great, but that this doesn't have a spring in there to make it auto lock back down. You have to pull it out, move it up, press it back down again, and then it's stable. It was something I didn't expect going into it. It's not really a deal breaker, just something I think you should know going into this tripod. The other, it's not exact, I wouldn't call it a downside to this tripod, it's just something to know going into it, is that there's no auto level feature here. The top of the tripod is flat with a screw mount on there. You have to attach your tripod. So when I attach my fluid head, this is the Manfrotto 502 on here, which this one doesn't have an auto leveling plate like a ball head would. When you attach it on there, you're gonna have to use the legs to balance it out, but it's very sturdy. It's very easy to do. A lot easier than my $20, $30 tripod was very hard to balance because it's so flexible. It would always be bouncing around and you, you would think it would be stable, then you let go and it would just wobble around a little bit and go to where it thinks it should be stable. And it was just hard to do. This one's so stable. It's very, a lot easier to do. Or if you use a ball head, it's not really an issue. You can loosen it, angle it at any position, lock it down, and now you're gonna be level, ready for shooting, unlock it, ready for panning, super easy functionality. This one also has a friction level to it, so you can unlock the ball, but then also apply some friction to make it a little bit firmer, and harder to move around, which is great for slight movements. You don't want it to be flopping around every single time you unlock the ball, so you can tighten the friction arm down and give you that. I really like this ball head. It's made out of magnesium instead of aluminum upper parts. It also has these exposed angle marks for your pan feature. You know exactly that's 45 degrees. That's a full 90 degrees up to 180. And just having the full angle markings all the way around, that allows for very precise movements and very precise moving back to the position you started at. You know exactly what number you started at 
If you move, take some other shots, you can always come back to that same point and take that same shot again. Just a great little feature to have. Overall, I think this tripod is the generalist's friend. I think it's the tripod that can do everything well, but does nothing perfectly. The jack of all trades, master of none, which is perfect for me. This is the tripod that I want. I don't want a studio heavy tripod that can't really be taken out traveling. I don't want a lightweight travel tripod that's not super sturdy. I want something in the middle that can do everything pretty well. That's for someone who, that's for someone who dabbles in video, dabbles in photography, does sports stuff, does macro stuff, does product, does whatever I want to shoot on a certain day, I'll go shoot that. And so I want a tripod that can keep up with that and to not have to have several tripods. I want one tripod that can do it all. You can find it from the Amazon affiliate link below. If you do click on that and use that to buy anything from Amazon, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. And if you like this review, if you would give me a like and subscribe down below, it really helps the channel out. And give me a dislike if you do not like this video or you don't like my review. If you wish I did something differently, if you have other questions that weren't answered in this review, let me know down below in the comment section. I will make sure to get to those. Thank you guys. Hope you have an amazing day. Go Toaster out.